Everything is European now. All right, I, I don't think this is gonna work out. Let's just, let's just try it out and see how it goes. Okay, so my first instinct, put it here. I think that's a good choice, just given that it doesn't block anything, it clears that one. I just have to get rid of this to get to this. And this already cleared one. Let's see, I'm gonna have to clear this. So, put these over here, put this over here. Get rid of these lines so that I can get this. This is what we're isolating right now, so I can't put anything here. And because this is over here, I won't be able to put anything here either without recognizing that I'm going to clear it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, now this gets a little more complicated the more pieces you go through. So I'm isolating this. Obviously, I won't I don't want to put anything here because we just opened that up. Let's put this here, here, here. And then this opens up. Let's put this here just because this this is a silly piece to put here. You don't have anything to clear it with otherwise. So this is really the only option. Put that here, here. Clear this. This keeps everything flat. Um, it also clears through three, uh, assuming we put something here eventually. We're gonna do that with the O piece. All right. Uh, there's nothing here, and we don't really want this piece anywhere because then you'd have to tuck it somewhere. Because you don't want it anywhere near here where the next three holes are. The next four holes, actually. So let's put this here. Don't worry about that later. Put this flat here. When you're down stacking, that's one thing you should always keep in mind. Keep your eyepieces flat if you can. All right, and let's see. That there. That there. All right. So this is what we're isolating here. We keep this flat just because this is the next hole. So what I'm going to do is this over here, and then either one of these pieces over uh, to clear it through. That clears all three of this. This opens up this. Um, clear through that. Opens up this. I can put this here. Perfect. This one goes over here, probably. Or, hmm. Actually, let's put that down flat. I, I said that, you know, you're supposed to keep everything flat, so let's just maintain that theme. There's no way I'm going to put this over here. There's no way I'm putting it there. The only other choice is over here. So this, in this way, we can start, like, seeing how can we isolate this. Uh, I could put it like this, put this here, put this here, that'll I isolate everything here, but this isn't really a good setup. I don't know if that's what I want, but I don't have a choice anymore because everything is European now. Alright, I, I don't think this is going to work out. Let's just, let's just try it out and see how it goes. Okay, so my first instinct, put it here. I think that's a good choice, just given that it doesn't block anything, it clears that one. I just have to get rid of this to get to this. And this already clears one. Let's see, I'm gonna have to clear this. So, put these over here, put this over here, get rid of these lines so that I can get this. This is what we're isolating right now, so I can't put anything here. And because this is over here, I won't be able to put anything here either without recognizing that I'm going to clear it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, now this gets a little more complicated the more pieces you go through. So, I'm isolating this. Obviously, I, won't, I don't want to put anything here because we just opened that up. Let's put this here, here, here. And then this opens up. Let's put this here just because this, this is a silly piece to put here. You don't have anything to clear it with otherwise. So this is really the only option. Put that here, here. Clear this. This keeps everything flat. Um, it also clears through three, uh, assuming we put something here eventually. We're gonna do that with the O piece. All right. Uh, there's nothing here, and we don't really want this piece anywhere because then you'd have to tuck it somewhere. 
because you don't want it anywhere near here where the next three holes are. The next four holes, actually. So let's put this here. Don't worry about that later. Put this flat here. When you're down stacking, that's one thing you should always keep in mind. Keep your eyepieces flat if you can. All right, and let's see. Let's put that there. That there. All right, so this is what we're isolating here. We keep this flat just because this is the next hole. So what I'm gonna do is this over here and then either one of these pieces over uh, to clear it through. That clears all three of this. This opens up this. Um, clear through that, opens up this. I can put this here, perfect. This one goes over here probably. Or, hmm, actually let's put that down flat. I, I said that, you know, you're supposed to keep everything flat, so let's just maintain that theme. There's no way I'm gonna put this over here. There's no way I'm putting it there. The only other choice is over here. So this, in this way we can start like seeing how can we isolate this. Uh, I could put it like this, put this here, put this here, that'll I isolate everything here, but this isn't really a good setup. I don't know if that's what I want, but I don't have a choice anymore because of the damn gravity, so let's just speed through this. I'm gonna put that there. This was, this isn't the original plan I had in mind, but I was just explaining it as an alternative. But maybe we can go back and explore other options. Put that there, put that there, here. And then uh, this is a little bit complicated of a, of a build, but it still works out. Put that here, here, and then that sets up the T-shape here once this gray garbage is cleared, because we have this, which sets it all up for this, and we didn't block over this. This opens up this, so that we have the red piece here so that we can put that here. Now this is actually a pretty classic build here. Um, one, one open hole, one solid, uh, I mean, uh, hold on, let me get this in place. One open here, space with a solid, and then an open one, and then another uh, open one here. This is a classic one because you can just do this. Deal with the first one like that. Don't cover anything here. Just put the O piece. Do that. Do this. Um, now this is going to cause problems later on. All right, but I don't really see any other way of doing it, so we're going to do it this way. See, the problem with this is that I don't know how to isolate these three now. This is kind of a mess here. Ideally, I want to be able to clear through all of this without obstructing the third one, which is the biggest dilemma here. So let's see if we can do that. Put that there. This is strategic, so this is what I'm going to do. So we dealt with those three there. We're going to deal with this one now, which is I take account into because I know I'm going to have to put this up, clear as much of that as possible, bring it down a bit. Uh, we This is a good spot because you don't clear through the eyepiece. Okay, put that there. L piece to deal with the rest of this because, man, we would be spending way too much time if we didn't put anything else. Put this at the side just because the next couple pieces, we don't get until this side until the very end. Put this here so that you get a T piece shape after you clear through, which opens this up. Put this here as well. I piece flat, remember. Now we have a couple options here. We could put this here and clear it, and then put 
this piece here and then this piece here and then clear this or we can do it like that now I'm thinking maybe it would have been better the other way around but we're, we're gonna gamble it and put it here all right that was that was a decent gamble. That there just so we have a clean little space for the eyepiece to move in. Could put this here. No, that doesn't open that up, does it? Put this here. Depends on what my next pieces are. Alright, that one. part very well either. Alright, whatever. opens up this I might have to okay I don't okay this works out perfectly clear this through I piece here um, L piece here this piece here and then clear this through by that point right right I just really hope another I piece is coming I don't know how to, how to deal with this side right now I don't have enough pieces to tell Since this piece showed up, I mean this hole showed up, I was going to put this here, but I think it's a better option to keep that open, put that here, eye piece here, and both of these options are still open to us. Okay, put that there just because there's nothing going on until for a while, so we're going to have to keep that in mind, Let's clear through all of that. Probably gonna place the eyepiece somewhere like there, flat. There. This piece here, this piece here, 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 here. Alright, I, I don't have any option. I have to put that there. This doesn't set what I have in mind was put this here, put uh, clear this with the eyepiece, and then put it in. But okay, I'll, I don't know if that's the right option. I could put uh, the eyepiece here, and then that'll keep everything flat. I'm gonna try that, kind of like this. All right. Let's 
let's try that. for it. I need two L pieces. No, J pieces. There's no good way to clear it. Alright, 249, not bad for my first attempt at something like this. Uh, this is the best I've done so far, so clearly it does help. <laughs> I definitely could have saved some more pieces there, but alright. That was a little tutorial for, or like a rundown of all the decision making that I do during a 100 line game. Not bad, I'd say not bad. There were some unorthodox positions we put ourselves in, but for the most part, I think we followed through exactly the way that we would have handled it in a real game. Like, it would have been like the most human decisions you could make. Except, I think I could have definitely saved like maybe 10 pieces just because of that one misdrop we made. But yes, all right. I hope that was helpful to people.